Turning to Call 6 Investigates now, this tragedy has many people asking who killed Deputy Koontz and why. Call 6 Investigates' Kara Kenny has been digging into the criminal history of the suspect, Evan Dorsey, and joins us now with what she's uncovered. Well, if you're looking at court records, it looks like suspect Evan Dorsey had a drug problem. The convicted felon had a criminal history spanning at least six counties in our viewing area. He's been in and out of jail and likely he did not want to go back behind bars when he shot at deputies and then shot and killed himself. Dorsey's criminal history begins in 2008 at Montgomery County. He was convicted of battery resulting in bodily injury and sentenced to 60 days in jail. From there, we uncovered several paraphernalia and drug possession charges, time spent in jail, probation, and several probation violations. In 2014 in Clinton County, Dorsey was charged with possession of a controlled substance and unlawful possession of a syringe, both felonies. He was found guilty and sentenced to two months in jail and 16 months probation, which he violated and had to serve even more jail time. A warrant was issued for a failure to appear in court on that case. And yet another case out of Howard County from December 2015. He was charged with resisting law enforcement and false informing, and that case had yet to go to trial. Now at this point, Police are still investigating where Evan Dorsey got the gun that killed Deputy Koontz and injured Deputy Buckley. Despite a slew of criminal charges on his record, Dorsey has never spent time in state prison.